Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris Ferdinand Descent here, and this is going to be a uh, it's going to be kind of like a rough draft sort of thing that uh, me and two other people did from the Wicked Elite. So if y'all enjoy it, you know, please stick around. We have some pretty good uh, things that I think I think we have some pretty good things we talk about. So if it's a little rough here and there, you know, give us a few episodes and we'll get everything down packed. I promise. But I appreciate y'all for y'all tuning in. I go ahead and um, you know put your headphones on, sit down and relax for a little bit. Thank you guys. Ladies like and gentlemen. Oh, wait, hold on, hold Hello, on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I play Blake Timmons Street, and I'm a I fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah, I think I. Hold on. What up, folks? Uh, damn it. Hold on, guys. I'm over here. <laughs> what up, folks? Send here. And to the ass, to the ass. <laughs> to the chin, to the chin. <laughs> I think we're going to put all that in there just in case. Oh, uh, chinning. <laughs> uh. All right, guys, it's Chris for Descent here. Um, I'm bringing y'all the first uh, inaugural episode of Skeet Skeet with the Wicked Elite. Uh, today I have uh, two uh, my, my favorite guys to play with. I got Tempted Swift and Project Venom X. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ask y'all's names. Uh, Project Venom, what's your name? How old are you? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, it's like pressure in school right now. You when your first one picked, everyone was staring at you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. My real name in real life, since Descent wants to blow up everyone's spot, is Fernand. Not Fernando. It has no D.O. at the end, because I don't know what happened. Guess a pen ran out of ink? Some shit happened there. Probably. Um, and, yeah, I'm just, you know, here to bust ass in Call of Duty and do this skeet skeet with the Wicked Elite. Hopefully, little John and the Eastside boys don't sue us for taking the skeet skeet word, but it's all right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think they died out though. I think, yeah. I think that whole scene died out. So we yeah, exactly think, they died out. So you know they're looking for some money. Yeah. How we're, old we're are you? Oh well, me, I'm 20. Well, I'm gonna be 21 in seven, in six days. All right. All right. And tempted Swift. Yeah. Um, I'm 21. Uh, I've been 21 since May. So I'm kind of I'm newly 21, but <clears throat> I haven't done much with it. I don't. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> um, you know, because we all been drinking since we were in high school, anyways. Let's be honest. Yeah, um, <laughs> not fun to drink legally. Yeah, uh, my real name is uh, David, but uh, everybody on the scene calls me Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, Swifty Pants, Tempted, Swift, you know, all that. Little Jennifer little Garner. Thing. Yeah, oh, little Jennifer Garner. You know, <laughs> all, that, all that nonsense. You, you already know. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Well, obviously, y'all know a little bit about what we're doing because we've been talking about it for like the past 10 minutes trying to set this shit up. Uh, but to everybody there out there on YouTube, uh, this is going to be kind of like a podcast type thing. We're going to give our personal opinions. We're not going to go like what IGN says or GameStop.com or fucking Xbox, what, uh, whatever. We're not going to go by that. We're going to give you our fucking opinions on it. And if you don't like it, you can always press the subscribe button and hit that like button just in case. I don't know. Because yeah, <laughs> <don't> <laughs> if you don't like it, then, you know, you, you have to subscribe so you can keep, keep coming back and arguing with us and trolling us. Exactly. We don't mind. Yeah, I mean, like... If then that, that'd be cool, though. I mean, arguments is fun a little bit. I don't know. I used to take debate classes and stuff, and I, oh. I enjoy a bit of an argument. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, fun. this is coming from a hardcore gamer's aspect. So all of us are, like, hardcore Call of Duty guys. You know, we're the ones that actually play the game. Those networks and stuff like that, they, they play it for, like, five minutes and they make their judgments. Yeah, it, you know? it, it seems like a lot of them, like, they get paid, like, oh, they I think they get paid, like, you know, five, ten million dollars to say, oh, this game is, like, a 9.5. Like, you play it, you're like, really? This was a fucking 3.6. Of course. For <laughs> That's how the system works, man. It's a business. Yeah, I mean, I, I my, 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 uh, my girlfriend asked me yesterday, would you get paid five million dollars to say game is good? I was like, hell yeah, I would. <laughs> hell, what? It's all the dough. Yeah. I'll even I'll, live stream that shit. I'd, I'd get paid a hundred bucks <laughs> if someone told me to say, "Hey, you know, Barbie in the Kitchen for Xbox 360 HD is the best game out there." Hell yeah, I'd say that just to get paid. <laughs> Barbie you know, racing uh, ride. It's a, it's a business. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta make it better. And uh, speaking of the business, uh, let's go on with Infinity Ward and Activision and how they pretty much um, screwed us over by releasing Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> <laughs> um, um infinity ward is just a name infinity ward technically doesn't exist the company fell apart after uh you know i can't remember those guys name uh from, uh not robert bowling wasn't even 
like he was Infinity Ward, but at the same time he wasn't. Uh, I forgot the three guys' names. I can't believe I forget their names. The ones that you know started COD Four, they're the ones that you know started the Mono for series. The original OG Infinity Ward developers, after the three guys left, who are now in uh, what is it, Respawn uh, Entertainment, that company. After they left, that that was it for Infinity Ward. Um, and even someone even did a video about this, about Infinity Ward is no longer, they're just a name. They're just a, a name and they're just a bunch of idiots, you know, <laughs> working that, that department and they don't, they're not for the community. And you got to remember that this is for, this is a business. Now they're going to do what they got to do to make their money and they're not going to please everybody. You, you, you can't expect them to please everybody and, you know, they don't care. At the end of the day, they're still making their money. They, they get a bunch of people complaining that to them all day. But does it matter? Are they going to change the game? You know, it's a little 12-year-old, no offense, but it's a little 12-year-old complaining on Twitter to Tina, and she going to, you know, change that? Even though there's millions others, well, I'm sure, I'm not, I don't know about millions others, but even though there's other people that are backing that kid up, you know, say he, he's probably saying right, you know, probably talking about Sit Rep Pro, you know? Or the type oh, oh, oh. I love Sitrep Pro. What about okay. Sitrep Pro? I, I, I love, love Sitrep Pro too, but <laughs> but the way they did it, where it cancels out Dead Silence, that that's a little overboard. Nah, I don't know. I mean, I I'm, I'm for taking both of them out because I mean I made a video on this and a lot of people didn't like it. But if you have the ability to run completely silent then you should have something to counter. If not, everyone just be running silent, and it'll make the same effect. If I can't hear no one in the map, I wouldn't want to move either. Well, I know, but people just sit in corners when they can't hear everyone in the map. Well, you know what? I say take <laughs> both of them out. Well, I mean, that, that'd be a more yeah. balanced thing. It'd be harder to sound more, obviously, especially if you're running with the team. Yeah. I can, mean, I put a, can, I, can I put an idea in here? Go something ahead. that has to do with... Uh, Blind Eye and Assassin. Go ahead, man. You can do whatever you want. Now, <laughs> this, I think, this idea, if they if they took into consideration, now, if any developers are out there listening to this, check this out. Now, UAVs and air supports, all that stuff, you know, the way it works, you know, it, it causes people to always run Blind Eye Assassin. And I've been seeing that a lot lately in the past two weeks. And the thing about it is, you know... No one's ever technically going to be hidden from an attack helicopter in an open area, let's be honest. Or the UAV, you know, you're in an open area and the UAV is unable to spot you. I think those both perks should both be out of the game. I think ghosts should not exist either. The way it should work, I think, and this, in, in, I'll, fin I'll tie it everything up to make it sound, uh, make sense where it's not like leaning towards campers. <laughs> UAVs should work as if, if people are, let's say, uh, like a, a map where it has a bunch of buildings and then it's got a couple open spots. Any enemy that is outside, not inside the building, where a UAV can spot him, he is spotted on the map. Same goes for attack helicopter. If you're, if you're in an open area, that attack helicopter will come at you or whatever. Um, if you're in a building, the UAV will spot you where you were last seen going into the building, but then you the, the red dot will fade, and then you're no, that person obviously is in that building, which leaves you no choice to assume he's in there camping, waiting until the UAV is gone. That's how I think it should work. It should work more like, you know, you actually have to play stealthy, not use perks to make yourself seem stealthy, because how many times are we running into people that are in open, corners in the map that are just using blind eye and open. open corners places that you wouldn't assume somebody would be camping because you know you're running and gunning oh, oh nobody's gonna camp this open corner right here you know and then all boom he's just laying down you know you right. couldn't tell because he's got blind eye assassin yeah. and best of all probably using a ghillie suit like a little homo using mp9 never using a sniper rifle how many times have you run who into does that? You know, I think that's how the, the UAVs and the air support should work because it would delete the purpose of these perks and leave it open for them to make perks that are more for uh, more uh, for physical. We need more physical perks, not these like ones that do the work for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. 
there needs to be war perks like um like quick draw and stuff like that something that's physical gives you some an added movement that um and that changes the person's play style and makes them play the way they want to play like black ops 2 is going to be you know that's going to be catered to only use me blade at some point he's going to be able to run a bunch of perks stuff like that to make himself fast and smooth and he can only run around with his knife that's going to work perfectly for that guy think about it yeah and that's what i'm trying to say with the perks, you know like there needs to be there's not enough perks, perk options for people because they end up using these so-called stealthy perks I mean, yeah. my thing with stealth perks, especially when it comes to blind eye, you shouldn't be able to hide from kill streaks when you could take it out with one stinger missile in three seconds. That's true. Like, I don't want to. I think it's stupid. Even if you get like an Overwatch, even a even a regular attack helicopter, by the time it gets in the map, someone has the ability to shoot it out before it gets to the map. So why should you be able to hide from it and have spawn protection on top of it? Yeah, they might as well just take it out completely. I think. I think they should have made that as a pro perk. I think you should, if you work as, you take, you can take out air support quicker, and then pro perk lets you be invulnerable to it. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I don't even have Blind Eye Pro yet. I don't either. <laughs> I'm at 15 Prestige. I've ne- Out of all the perks in this game, I've never had Blind Eye Pro. I've yet to I, have it. I, I think I've like <laughs> one air support. I did support. it once. I got it once during one prestige because, you know, after um, Drop Zone came out, you could take out the care packages. So I got Blind Eye Pro just to start shooting them shits down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they yeah. used to come in, I used to just shoot them down. And, I mean, I went through that prestige real quick, but then I got reset it eventually, so it didn't matter. I mean, I'm a 2080 and I have every perk pro except, uh, except Blind Eye. We better start being a support player and taking shit out. <laughs> For real, man. I mean, I don't, I don't see a need to, to be uh, like. Okay, here, here's the thing. If I'm playing a free for all and my enemy can get, uh, can get uh, air support on me besides the UAV, I don't think I'm doing my job. <laughs> That's my That's personal true. opinion. If, if the other team can get air support on my team, they deserve it. Because if I'm running with, with both of y'all, Sub Riot or Pwn Stars, if I'm running with a fucking solid team and the other team can get air support. I don't it's need to be fault. playing the game. Yeah, like we don't need to yeah. be playing <laughs> because there's no way that any any fucking team, unless we're playing like fucking MLG elite team that's been like fucking jerking each other off since they were babies. <laughs> like I don't think if we're playing against some of them that, and they get air support on us, I can understand that because they fucking goddamn breathe the map. Like they know what the fuck they're going. They have like Batman fucking sonar and shit. Um, but like if they can get air support on us, I think they deserve it. But obviously, we're going to shoot that shit down quick. Well, it depends. If it comes from a care package, then it's a little gay. Well, yeah, that's why we don't let them get four <laughs> <Yeah>. kills. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why, why most of the people we play against are like, have like a .25 KD after we're done. <laughs> yeah. That's why I always steal people's care packages. I, I, I've i had that like hijacker uh, achievement like finished for so long. I, if, you see, <laughs> if you see me, I somehow attract people who tend to throw their care packages in front of me. And I know I t- I'm pretty smart at figuring out where they're gonna hide, and I get them every time. Like I was playing with uh, Mags yesterday, and one of our games was on lockdown. And this guy kept calling; he kept getting care packages, and I kept stealing them. And Mags said, "Well, always pass by." I'm like, "Hey, Mags, it's a sentry gun. You want it?" She's like, "No." And I say, "Hey, Mags, it's an IMS. You want it?" She's like, "No." <laughs> so I'm like a professional hijacker, and. Damn, so I'm, one day I'm going to join the session against you. I keep throwing fucking the the <laughs> trap ones. I'm going I'm to fucking jack that shit from you, dude. <laughs> I'm going to throw the <laughs> trap ones. Watch your ass explode. Record it nonstop. I got sit rep pro, son. I'll figure out if it's, it's bad. <laughs> oh, oh, you see, you're not using sit rep, man. <laughs> actually, that, actually, that time I wasn't using sit rep. I was using uh, Dead Silence. I just, yeah. I just assumed because he was hiding in a corner waiting for it. See, what I would do if I was using those, I'd be like, oh, no, my care package. And then they go for it, and then they blow up. <laughs> See, for me, it doesn't matter because I'll just run specialist, and I get my specialist bonus in about three seconds. So <laughs> This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get a six-man feed every single time. <laughs> uh, but, um, okay, well, so we, we covered a little bit on that. Um, now, 
how they how they've been trying to listen to the community and i put that in quotes obviously um saying that they're gonna fix this and gonna fix that obviously there's gonna be an overpowered gun in every game more than one there's gonna be an overpowered smg it's gonna be an overpowered assault rifle um and in this case that would be the uh the mp i, I would say the mp7 is overpowered it's just overly accurate and yeah. I mean that's not I mean it's not as powerful as the the UMP or I don't know I prefer the P90 out of all of them but of course you know um, when, I, when I'm trying hard and when I'm doing like a free for all op or something like that of course I'm gonna use the MP7 because it's fucking accurate I don't want to miss those two shots when I'm going for a triple kill um and then with the assault rifles you had the Type 95 when that first came out that thing was stupid and it still is pretty stupid um and then they just nerfed or they boosted the M16 to make it exactly how the the type 95 was when it first came out and <laughs> it's ridiculous and then um you got the acr which everybody uses i prefer i think the g36 is better than the acr i just hate the iron sights so yeah that's pretty bad i mean well, I, I, I think the gun's fine i mean yeah the iron sights a bit bulky but you know you've seen some of my gameplay i tend to have like no problem with it somehow yeah, I'm not, I don't I mean, think it's, 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 it's an it's a really it's a, actually an overly accurate gun. It's, know how to use the six. It's more accurate than the ACR. Yeah, I, yeah. I explained in my video. If you just tap it or burst it, there's no recoil. There's absolutely no recoil on that gun. Oh no, not at all. And and, and the recoil when you when you when you spray it is up and down, uh, yeah. versus the ACR. It's a little circle. So I'd rather have up and down. I can adjust that easier than a little circle. I mean, I can yeah. adjust, I can adjust it all, but it's just easier with, uh, yeah. with that. So. And another gun that people tend to not look at is the AK-47. Oh, this is a monster. Yeah. yeah. The AK-47, it's like Pone Stars explained, and I, I mentioned it in my video. It's got cosmetic recoil. It looks like it jumps a lot, but the, it's a straight. It's a straight hit markers every time. That recoil will bounce up, but the the bullets aren't going anywhere. Your shots, your hit markers, they're not moving at different spots. Yeah, because it's great. And that's because the fire rate is low, so it bounces. It always centers. Yeah, it, it's always been a vertical shotgun as well, and people need to stop overshadowing these other guns, like even the M4. Oh, the, the M4, M4 is amazing. I, I like that the best. The people don't understand how good that gun is. Like, yeah. Either I even have that gun on my background, uh, on my YouTube channel, my background, because like I had three guns in there, and I was like, damn, four, because M4 is my favorite gun, military gun, and people tend to uh, not look at it, you know? That gun has the highest, it's the second highest fire rate uh, weapon in assault rifles, and it could be used as a submachine gun as well. It's got fast, uh, fast ADSs and stuff, and people are not, are not looking at it at all. They're still like, you know, all mode up the ACR. And in reality, in the game, the M4 beats the ACR, gun on gun. I say like seven, like seven out of ten times with that one, because you, you know, it's all about um, vantage points as well. I mean, but with this game, <coughs> it's not the gun at all that bothers me, because. All the guns are good in the game. You could kill. I think the yeah. the worst gun takes what five shots, but that's a submachine gun over long range, so it's still not bad at all. What pisses me off about the game really is the death streaks and this catering to the shit players. Yeah, if there was no death streaks, I mean, this game would probably still be, you know, I would have more than players online than what it has right now. Yeah, it's the death streaks that that killed it. I mean, and they don't they don't care. They don't care to look at it. I mean, if you can decrease a nerf a blast radius of dead man's hand, but you can't take it out of the game, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's dumb. You know um, what you should do? It's nerf it to where it's absolutely pointless. Or like how Black Ops did towards the end of the the game, they made playlists without ghost perks and second chance. Do you know how balanced those lobbies were when they did that? Yeah, that, that was, those are pretty fun, the competitive ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you, you had idiots who who still running second chance and shit, and then they'll just die. I used to love it. Look at a yeah. kill cam, and they have still ghost and second chance on. Yeah, and that's their fault. They're left with only one perk, and then they're yeah. just going to die a bunch of times because, I mean, you're not going to, I mean, yeah, you know, idiots. Yeah, <laughs> I just find that shit <clears throat> priceless. 
But see, like I think that, that's what they should do. They could make playlists that are dedicated to the hardcore, you know, gamers. And I mean, they, Black Ops can do it. They can do it. They just refuse not to. I mean, they, they should just take it out. I mean, what kind of shit is that? Be like, oh, look, you got shot five times. Yeah, you have time to fall on your ass, take out a C4, and for some reason that C4 blows up like a pred. Because like, they what don't kind of shit the, is that? They don't play the game. The, the people that create it don't play the game. I mean, if you're going to tell me that, like, these guys play the game and they don't get frustrated, that would blow my mind. No, it's you like, know what I, it is? I would is be that like, why they suck at it. Is so. <laughs> <laughs> that they suck at it, so yeah. those things actually help them. Shut yeah, so. yeah, I mean, and, like, see, and that's why Treyarch is gonna overcome Infinity Ward. I mean, they usually do. The only problem in Black Ops was second chance in the lag comp. That was it. Other than that, the guns were fine. There was nothing like, too overpowering. Uh, I mean, it just had every gun had like a lot of recoil, so it made for a more skilled player though. And I mean, that's I think that's what's gonna happen with black ops 2 it's gonna be more dedicated to a um a bet like a more hardcore aggressive player who actually knows how to play the game they say that it's gonna be you know friendly to the new call of duty players but i don't think so i think these kids are gonna have such a hard time because they're gonna jump right they're gonna jump right into the ranked matches that's what they're gonna do and they're just gonna you know get they're just gonna get slaughtered it's gonna be it's going to be bad, then they're going to hit the game, they're going to go get rid of it, forgetting that they can go probably play in a, a social match. I don't know how, uh, I think they're going to do it like how Halo has it. Yeah, the true skill? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, it's it's not going to be catered towards noobs, especially if you go in regular games. I mean, if you run across a team like us, you're not going to even cap a flag to get a UAV. Like, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You know? And nah. especially people like me, I mean... Ever since, like, Call of Duty 4, I used to practice. Not practice, but it's something I always used to do. I don't lay down on domination flags. I move around on them, trying to kill people while still on the flag. So yep. that game's going to help me so much. I'll get a Blackbird just by capping two flags and three kills. <laughs> you know? Because you get bonuses. I mean, you get even more points if you kill someone while capping a flag and things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, those things, it's going to rank up for aggressive objective players a lot. You know, Slayers are still going to get their fair share just going straight kill. It might take them a little longer. People like doing objectives and slaying, like, that's why I like doing a lot. It's um going to help us more. And the people who just want to camp and shit, I mean, they're just going to do shit the whole game. <laughs> I, think, not... I think the gameplay that this game is going to bring us for, for YouTube in the future when it comes out, I think we're going to go back to COD 4 style and, like, Cut four style kind of games because I mean I'm pretty sure there's no kind of like you know nuke or Moab in this game. I don't think that's gonna have that. And the reason why I say cut four is because cut four was just like you know high scoring games and uh, displaying skill. Like in cut, like that's all people would upload on YouTube. I mean it was good games. It was like you know oh I went thirty and two this and that and, and people enjoyed that at that time. Yeah, and with, it, it was cool to get a triple kill. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I used to love seeing, like, 20 kill streak pop up. It was, like, a rare event for me. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, my God, 20 kill streak. Everyone's in the lobby thinking you're hacking. Now you got a 20 kill streak. It's like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I go on a 20 kill streak. I'm like, eh, who cares? Like, all right, I almost got a Moab. Okay, can I get the double? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, be like, all right, guys, I'm just going to throw my flashes here. Now, just kill. Give me some assists, please. <laughs> Get them all up that way. So I think that's how Black Ops Two is gonna work out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like some good, actual skill gameplay. That's what I think. That's what we're gonna see. Like uh, Black Ops was like that too. The people that posted gameplays, like it was all about like uploading Blackbirds, chopper gunners, and dogs, and that was cool. It was it was simple. You you did a gameplay and then you slapped the commentary over it. It, it was it was kind of original. Yeah. Now yeah. like now it's like it's all about getting high scores and game, and moabs and stuff like that, and catering to the people that that only want to see that. And it, and it kind of sucks because that's what's slowing down YouTube lately. I mean, if you ain't got the support base and people running ballistic vests for you and stuff that getting scores like that's going to be impossible 
And okay. I feel like, you know, I I would I won't bash on anybody that, that does that. That's you know more power to you because you you got successful doing that. So of course you're gonna keep doing that. No one's gonna tell you not to. But for the people that can't get started and stuff like that, I mean, you gotta it's like you gotta wait you gotta wait it out right now. Right now you gotta take a take a seat and wait for Black Ops two to come out. Yeah. And then display your beastfulness in a competitive side of game, because that's what's gonna happen. And uh I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready for Black Ops 2. I'm ready to see what it's gonna bring us. It's neither gonna it's either gonna be good, bring it's gonna bring Call of Duty back, or it's gonna choke once again. Well, Black Ops can't choke just because they have zombies to fall back on. And if zombies are revamped and as good as they're making a the sound, it looks like I'm not gonna even play multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean the four V four that we're hearing about. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I know they have the regular traditional ones, and then they have one for online. I mean, let's, well, see. let's see. Later this month, I believe, I can't remember what it said. I think the 7th, something, that they're displaying uh, some more gameplay. They're going to a uh, uh, another expo or something like that, and they're going to display the gameplay. So hopefully they throw out some zombies in there. Where's the expo? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to it, get some <laughs> gameplay for you guys. Huh. <laughs> Fly over there. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like in still somewhere in Europe. I don't know. I, I saw it on an article real quick. And, uh, I'll take my boat. <laughs> and I, it, it said September, September something. I can't remember the date. I saw this about a week ago. But uh, but uh, yeah. going back to what you were saying about the, uh, the COD 4 and how like that was just like skilled gameplay and like all the, all those, all the people that were playing that game and they were young. It was all the people that are playing it now, and they think they're really like the shit, and they're like 18 years old because they were playing that game when they were 14. Um, and like all those good uh, commentators, like C Nanners and Hutch, like they don't do that anymore. They started on COD 4, and now I don't even I haven't seen C Nanners play Call of Duty in like months. I haven't seen a post a video in months from Call of Duty. And Hutch, you know, he just barely came back like last month. So, you know, that was nice to see that, you know, he decided to come back. But yeah. he hasn't been playing much Call of Duty either. He's been playing other games. I think it's because they understand that they, like, people don't want to see it that often anymore. I mean, yeah, you're still going to get, like, you're still going to get your subs. You're still going to get your views if you already have the fan base. But as for people like us where we're just starting out, you know, like, I've been doing it like two months. Um, I know you, re I know you uh, restarted another channel, uh, Fernand, and then... Uh, Swift, I actually don't know how long you've been doing it. About but, a month. Okay, yeah. So we've all been doing it roughly about the same one or two months area. And yeah. we all have about the same uh, same amount of subs, same amount of views, stuff like that. And I think the only reason we're getting any recognition at this point is probably because we do play with a few of the bigger YouTubers, such as, like, you know, Mags and uh, Pwn Stars and Wicked sometimes. You know, we, we play with all of them. And... I never play with Mags, and she never answers my tweets, so I'm going to have to find her and kill her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mags alone. <laughs> well, okay, well, I, I, either, way, either way, besides that, like, you know, you get more more, more oh. views from people like that, and and I don't think that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to feed off of them or leech or anything like that. I know none of us can – I know all three of us can say that we are not trying to leech off of people that have more success than us at the moment. We just want to play the damn game with people we enjoy playing the game with. Oh yeah. And yeah. you know, if we happen to get a uh, a nice gameplay that they're in, okay, that's cool. But I don't give a shit about that. I don't go for Moabs. And I was talking to to you last night about this, David, along with like Subright and a few other people. I don't go for Moabs, and it's not because I can't get them. I have well over a hundred. I just don't get them because I don't really care for them. I'd rather go fifty and ten. And win the game at the top of the leaderboard, then go 35 and three and have a Moab. That's just my personal opinion because I'm gonna have the same. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna do just as fine. And I mean, I can carry a 3 KD in this game, but I fucked around so much in the beginning, like my first 40,000 kills, I fucked around and had a 1.3 KD. Now it's like a 1.65 or something like that, and yeah. it's kind of hard to build that KD up after you have so many kills. But um. Well, you know me. I don't like to get Moabs and lose. I mean, I always <laughs> win. Like, like the other day, what's it? Oh, it was last night. Like, 
you know, we were down a few points that I was like, you know, I was like, what the fuck's going on, man? Like, let's, let's win this shit. Why are we losing this net? Like, <laughs> like I, if you will catch me, I, I would stop. I wouldn't even try to go for Moab and just, I would still win. I don't like to lose. Cause at the same time, when I go for Moab, I'm very competitive and I, I'm all about winning at the end of the day. Yeah. And a, a lot of that is like, um, I, I like playing team games. Like I love kill confirm. That's probably my favorite game type. But I like playing free for all more because I know it's just all about me, and the only other people I gotta worry about are just the few people sitting in corners and the people I know I can outgun. Now I've be, I've rarely been actually beaten in free for all. It, it's very rare. I think I've it, it's maybe a handful of times that I've been beaten in free for all. And I'm not trying to chew my own to, my own horn. I know y'all can go in there and do the exact same thing, but I can't. You seen my videos? I have horrible <laughs> luck. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, I'll run into those lobbies too, where it's just like, like where I'm actually being beaten. That doesn't really happen. If I'm getting like this guy just sitting in a fucking corner with goddamn sit rep, and he kills me like ten times, I don't think that's considered beating me. No, nah, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Someone's unwrapping something. Oh, it's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> getting a little hungry here. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Me too. I haven't eaten yet. But like uh, that, that goes down to like that. I, I'd rather post free for all all day, every day thing and be like a, a free for all only channel. Whereas like how, you know, spaz my cat. Shithead. Cat, spaz, spaz my, my cat. cat. Um, I don't want to use any actual names here, guys. Sorry. Spaz um, my puppies. <laughs> spaz my puppies. Yeah. Um, or is he considered the only true S and D, uh, channel on, uh, on YouTube, and the thing is, is that I'm not impressed with any of the stuff that he has put out. No, definitely not. Um, I like Dysfunction a lot better. I've actually never even watched him, so um, cool. Dysfunction. I've never watched any of nah, his he's, stuff. He's yeah, cool. You should check him out. I like him. I, I, I'll do that later. Too. What he, what Dysfunction brings, because it's it's original. It's caught. Co it's caught four style. It's like you know, it, and when caught four was around, it was about winning and getting, getting and managing to get good gameplay at the same time i mean it was it wasn't about you know i'm just gonna like shoot for gameplay it was like you know they went in they recorded and they were all about winning like i just want to win and if they happen to get a beastly gameplay out of it you know that's gonna go up yeah and now it's like you know with mom for three it was so catered to the moabs and this now i mean it's hard not to fall into it which i don't blame uh spat my battles for uh for uh, finding his uh his uh success in it i mean that's a that's an accomplishment you know I, I i applaud him for that that's great but he's it's i don't know what to say about it it's 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 not it's not dying out for him he's obviously still doing it i mean uh, it, it's his style nobody else is gonna take it so i, well, mean, I know but but in uh <clears throat> in um in Black Ops 2, there isn't going to be a Moab or anything like that. So what's he going to do? Is he just still going to have people run riot shields for him? Uh, I, he, he, I don't think he can get – like he if he didn't have those riot shields, I, I would say, hey, I challenge you to do all of those again by yourself. No help from teammates. Solo. Don't invite anybody to the game. Change your damn name so no one knows who the hell you are to help you. Go in there and do it again. I guarantee you that won't happen. Well, he had that one good gameplay with the UMP where he was solo, like stuff like that. That's impressive. I think if you can get into it, get in there, and play solo, and still pull it out, that's pretty cool. But you know, that one think, that was on at the same time, they're still he's, he's still dropping rounds to get it, and it's slightly selfish because there could be people on the other teams that are like, you know, they don't want to drop the round, they don't want to lose. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I mean, it's. It is what it is. I'm not saying he's not a good S&D player. I've seen some of the stuff he has without the right shields, but I mean the fact that his entire I think he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but the entire channel that he uses or that he that he built is based upon riot shielding and getting a Moab in something that doesn't really matter. And that pretty much, I'm not saying he's the reason that people started bitching, started being bitches and sitting in corners to sit rep pro, but there's 35,000 people that I'm sure who watch him that started doing it. And those 35,000 people 
turn into 70,000 people. Those 70,000 turn into 140,000, so on and so forth. It multiplies. It's like a disease. Once these many people start doing it, this person's going to start doing it. Like with the One Man Army Pro, or One Man Army in, in uh, Modern Warfare 2 with the Danger Close. That was uh, – people didn't start doing that. I didn't use One Man Army like that. I used it – like the way I used it was I used One Man Army and either Cold-Blooded or, or Stopping Power. Got my kill streaks. Um, like if I got – if I was going for a nuke or whatever, I got a Harrier. I'd switch to uh, Danger Close Pro, pop my Harrier up for 30 seconds, maybe sit in a corner. And then, you know, I would play it like that. So I was using the, the, one, the Danger Close and One Man Army tactically, not – homosexually <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was a bitch player in Modern for two but i never i never went into the one-man army and danger close sides i don't think i i never became a dedicated player to, to, to go like that way like what i mean by bitch player like i used to play really slow i wasn't as aggressive i would like you know kind of sit in corners and like you know wait for my kill streaks to do all the work i used to be like that like and then it, Black Ops 2, not Black Ops 2, <laughs> Black Ops 1 came around and I was completely more aggressive. I was a, more of a rusher. Like, I didn't rush as much towards the end until Modern Warfare 2. Like, it's weird that I, I, I see myself the way I play now because I, I used to be the player that was like, you know, I could never get a Moab. I could never get a nuke and stuff like that. Like, I used to not ever think that I could do half the things I've done. And, you know, I grew pretty fast in the game. Like, it, it, it's like, I don't know. I, I I've done things that I didn't think I could do. Even with this game, I didn't think that I can pull off as many mobs as I have. And one person I have to thank for that is like Pwnstars.com. When he was uh, first starting out, fanboy. Hey, that's my. <laughs> <laughs> he, he inspired me. Like the way he played. I, I I watched the way he played and watched how aggressive he was and stuff. And I always remember the quote that he would say is like you know, just, just rush really hard. And sometimes you surprise yourself. And, you know, I took that in consideration. And that's what I'm, that's how I became like the way I'm not. Like I was sitting at, when I first met him, I was sitting at like a 2.2 KD for like the longest time. And then when I started playing with him, you know, you could see now that every week I manage like, I average a 3.5 to a 4.2 KD every week. And before that, I was like sitting at two all the time. It, I don't know where that went off. I just kind of like started rambling on my own. Oh, no, no. It's okay. You had your fanboy moment. <laughs> yeah. I had a found, you know. Wh where's the violins? I need some background music now. You know? <laughs> but, um, Maybe we can edit it in there later. <laughs> yeah. Now I completely forgot what I was talking about because I'm over here sitting watching Subrite's <laughs> gameplay. Oh, uh, really? You should watch the link I put on. <laughs> But uh, well, I'm, I'm actually editing this. I'm I'm actually making a a, a video for later today, because uh, me and me and Subride kind of like started a, a new series and we're kind of just uh doing this. And, and this guy thought it was a good idea if I edited and did this did this at the same time. So I'm kind of like <laughs> yeah, I told you <laughs> I'm losing track. Oh, don't worry, dude. I I got a video I got to put up and it's like 15 minutes long, so I got to short it down to like eight. Um, it, it was actually a Black Ops gameplay, and y'all were talking about it uh, a little bit, where it's like, it was just simple, good gameplay, where you got, yeah. uh, <clears throat> you know, just, you know, Blackbird dogs and Chopper Gunner, and that's what it was, and it was 151 and 7 gameplay, and I didn't even get to play, uh, like, half of one round, so, uh, it was Demolition, by the way. I think Black Ops Ground War was probably the best Ground War that I've played. I played with Chip the other night, like last week, and we played Ground War Black Ops, and man, it was so smooth. Like, it wasn't like Modern for Three and Modern for Two Ground War. The, the I think the map designs take a lot of, you know, uh, what's the word? Skill to navigate. A little bit. It it has a lot to do with the way your game's gonna go. The maps design, like Modern for Three maps designs. And the way they made the spawns, I don't think they're compatible with each other. I think the way I don't know, man. They, they just like they made it small and then they made spawns very spontaneous, and it leads for a lot of uh, deaths. I mean, you go on a kill streak, 
the only tip you can give someone on this game is don't die. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, it, it really is because it's like you die once and that's going to be a train reaction. You're going to have like, you know, two to five more deaths coming like instantly. Because but that's the, why they give us death streaks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is why they give us death streaks. So sons of bitches. <laughs> but I, I, would, I only use like juiced, I think. Just I think, it. honestly, I honestly think they gave you death streaks to just notice how, like, just so you can realize how bad you are in the game. Whenever I get juiced, I just feel like, like, signing off and killing myself. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, you know, I feel like I just need to retire and not play this game anymore. <laughs> See, like, okay, now, whenever I used to spawn camp on Free For All and, and Modern Warfare 2, on, let's say Terminal, for example, because that's a, a, a one that everyone can relate to since there are new people. To mo like Modern Warfare 3 is the first one. Let's go to Terminal because that's where everyone can play. Um, the, the top of the escalators where the ladder is, that used to be my spot on uh, Modern Warfare 2. I'd sit up there with the tar. There'd be that there'd be that little spawn down there by the ladder and the, and the, the, the phone booths or whatever. And then there'd be that spawn outside where people used to camp in the corner with attack insertions. And there used to be a spawn over there by the plane and shit. Now those three spawns are, and on top of the one, um, there's one over there um, by uh, by the middle bookstore or um, in that little where the soda machine is. That yeah. one, and then the one in the back where the uh, the metal detectors are. And um, those spawns all try to converge to come to you after you kill them because they're gonna spawn in a different place. Like oh, revenge kill. That that's where Modern Warfare 2 started. The revenge kill. <laughs> and um, and I used to I used to camp up there, and yeah, I did camp spawns. I was a whore. <laughs> I'd go, you know, a thirty and 0, 30 and like thirty and five or better, literally every game. And um, like I, I'm just using that one as an example because, like I said, that's the only one people know. But I would camp up there and camp spawns. I can't really do that in this game because there's fucking like eighteen more spawns in that damn map than there used to be. Wait, wait, you never spawn trap with us? No, no, no. I, I've spawn trapped before, but like I'm just saying, like on in free for all. Like, oh, free for all, yeah, yeah. In free for all, I could spawn trap on every map in Modern Warfare 2 and fucking go 30 and 0. I can go 30 and 0 10 games in a row in Modern Warfare 2, just from spawn trapping. But I can't do that, and and I can't do that on Dome. I've gone 30 and 0. I, I've gone, you know, I've done that multiple times on Dome. Everybody has. Well, I'm I'm assuming so. <laughs> but um, like you can't spawn trap right there because. Oh, I'm aiming at this like okay down there by the loading dock when you're like the head glitching on that part. If you're if you're head glitching on that little part and you know someone's gonna spawn in that corner, you could sit there and literally watch them spawn. Yeah. That is stupid. I was watching um there was also another thing I was watching, I think it was on Wicked's. Uh he was playing free from an Arcaden or Arcaden or whatever the hell you guys wanna call it. And this guy was laying down, you know on the ledge where the window is on the ledge? Oh wait, wait which map? I'm sorry. Um, Arkadin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, um, this guy was just aiming into the bar, like exactly where the spawn point is, and these people, I mean, it was on Wicked's channel. Oh yeah, I saw he that just one. kept, yeah, he just kept spawning, and I'm like, really? You could just stare at the spawn now? Like I thought I had it bad when people were spawning like with their gun inside my butthole, and <laughs> yeah, people staring at a spawn. Yeah, that, that, that's really stupid, and I don't understand why they did that. I mean, yeah, you got the occasional one in Modern Warfare 2, but if you were if you were looking at a spawn, you really couldn't watch them spawn. Like, yeah. they made it like that to where, it, you know, it took skill to learn the map and to learn the um, the the rhythm of the map, I guess you could say. that. Like, there's a... Oh, fuck, what is that word? Uh, I cannot think of it. But it's like there's a... a like, a fluid flow to every map that you have to oh, learn. Um, the what? Momentum? No, not momentum. It's um. Uh, water. <laughs> no, not water. I know it has. It's like a sciency word or something. H two O. No, not H two O. Sir. <laughs> Y'all fucking suck. But uh, <laughs> um, but no, it was like the, there's a certain way you have to run every map, and I, I I can figure that out pretty easily, and that's why I was doing my free for all tips because I was like, hey, I may not get in the best score, but I can win this map in two and a half minutes. Can you? <laughs> I'm going 30 and 10, 30 and 5, and I'm winning this map in two and a half minutes. What can you do that? No, it takes you seven, eight minutes. Yeah, I mean, in free throw, to me, it's not about going 30 and <laughs> no, it's about finishing that game. My goal, depending on the map, if it's like dome or something, my goal is less than three minutes. And if it's a bigger map, then I'll shoot for five. Like, say if it's fallen or something, I know people are gonna camp there regardless. Oh yeah. 
So like there, I shoot for five. I don't shoot for like a, a real good spread. I shoot for just really fast games. I mean, and that's what I'm trying to do on my channel too. If you see it, I'm trying to keep all my videos really short. Yeah, because I mean, the attention span of uh, the average 15 year old is about 37 seconds. So shit, the attention span of mine is like 37 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I think we actually should start wrapping this up now, guys, because we've been going for like over 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> uh, and yeah. Space didn't still didn't show up. Yeah, you're going to have to edit this to where, like, you have to, like, pause it and then have, like, a screen and then type, like, what we're going to, like, talk about next. You're like, you're like, this is where we talk about this. This is where we talk about this. Uh, attempt to script goes off track and talks about this. <laughs> and then we can have a whole section with violin playing saying the fanboy <laughs> moment. <laughs> yeah. Pornstars.com fanboy. My hero. No, you know that, I don't know if you guys know that song, um... That hero song? Oh, you. I can be you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that was okay. That's probably gonna be. Right. <laughs> well, oh wait, a... guys, look at um the the link I put on the chat before we go. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, I can't even open that up. Tell me oh, everything about. <clears throat> this. But um. All right, uh, I, I know next time, guys, we're going to cover a few more things. And, really? Um, yeah, really. I'm no. not even going to look that up. That's, that's, I just clicked on it and it said beast porn. I'm not even going to click on it. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, uh, I know next time we're going to uh, – yeah, that, that's what that's what Fernand's into, guys, on YouTube. I don't know what the hell. He's watching horse sex or something. I'm but um, uh, but next time, guys, we're going to talk about a few more things. We're probably going to cover some of the stuff about the clan ops. And the reason I didn't bring that up now is because I know we can go another hour and a half on that. So um, thanks for tuning in for the first uh, inaugural, very short 10 to 15 minute episode. <laughs> uh, we, need to, we need to set this up next time because we, were, we kind of freestyled this a little too much. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's what the first one's always about. I mean, we can go for, I'm pretty sure we can go for two hours and stuff like that, but I don't know if um, people would enjoy watching two random or three random people for two hours. So, or listening. Yeah, be surprised. I mean, people watch the Jersey Shore. Anything's possible. Yeah. I mean, we need, we need more guests on this. I mean, we need to get like, so let's get so, wicked on this i know dude <laughs> i get wicked you should you should consider asking him get him and be like you know we the reason why i'm doing this it's not because of uh i want the attention i mean because you obviously don't you just want you want we want other people's opinions yeah i mean we could get a pone star too so you could have your dream your dream fulfilled oh, man and he's funny as he's funny as shit too <laughs> if, if you got pone stars and wicked on the same chat that'd be phenomenal the shit porn stars be saying halfway, like, while gaming and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'd be like, he'll be, like, playing and then talking at the same time. He'd be like, hold on, son, I'm dropping a Moab. <laughs> what? All right. Um, well, thank you for tuning in, guys. This is the first uh, episode of Skeet Skeet with the Wicked Elite. It was a little longer uh, than we expected, but I think it went pretty well for the first time. We had a pretty good flow going. Um, thank you, uh, Fernand, a.k.a. Project Venom, and David, a.k.a. Tempt Swift. Um, I do appreciate y'all coming out today. And uh, maybe next time we get some barbecue. 